user of it. Um, Amber, up here. Hello. Um, how are you going? So Amber, Amber Worth from Ambient IT. Um, yeah, I've also known Amber for years and, and, and trust her implicitly with her uh, information and advice. She helps me with my systems um, and, and keeps the show running literally at this point in time. So um, Amber, over to you. What advice from a from a IT and world of web perspective have you got? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Kevin. Um, <clears throat> well, we've been working, uh, Ambient IT has been working with um, businesses providing and helping with remote access and communication technologies for close to 15 years and prior to that working for other people. But, um, but firstly, I'd just like to say that um, Tony's spot on there, mate. Um, you know, people need to be getting you know, getting their online marketing, online visibility sorted. Um, and this is specifically not an area that we do, um, but uh, good work. You know, we look at the directory or wherever else and get some experts to talk to us guys just like you. Um, <clears throat> so what can you do from a tech perspective? So there's a few things out and about at the moment and the most important uh, initiative that, that we've seen that's been introduced by Microsoft is a free trial of um, E1 Office 365. Now, to get yourself online and in the cloud with things like um, Microsoft Teams, um, you can do online meeting broadcasts where non-interactive for like learning or sessions with up to 10,000 uh, people connected to your session. With it, you can do collaborative so uh, you're able to talk and communicate with up to 250 people using Microsoft Teams, which is a part of um, Office 365 E1 or part of Office 365, any version, but the E1 is specifically the one that Microsoft is offering as six months free trial on at the moment. So then that includes for you uh, 50 gig mailboxes, terabyte of personal cloud storage, plus OneDrive for Business, so document sharing and collaboration within that. Web versions of online Microsoft, uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, all included, and take the next step there into workflow automation which is also included to enable your business to start operating more efficiently. Um, <clears throat> working from home, working from offices, working from different locations, it's, it's no different in the end to multi-site type organisations like franchise organisations, real estates with multiple sites, things like that, where the technology is already there for us to use it. We just need to get more and more businesses online using it and find all the ways that it's. we actually take this yeah, you know, there can be some positive things come out of these changes in that it can help a lot in a lot of ways bring your business forward to somewhere that you can be. What's up, Kev? So, Amber, you mentioned automation with Office 365. So tell me a little bit more about the stuff you can automate. Like, are you talking about like Zapier style automations and, and CRM yeah, kind of style automation. stuff or what are we talking about? It's, yeah, it's just, it's a lot like Zapier type things. So <coughs> reprocessing, um, emails or uh, doing all sorts of different things, moving data between systems, things that you're used to being able to automate and process or put things in different places or, you know, it, it's, uh, there's so much functionality, there's stacks of like, just like that plug-in type systems that Zapier, that the likes of Zapier has. Um, there's also <coughs> one of the other areas that, um, that you're gonna need to consider if you're moving to working from home. <coughs> Now, if you've got laptops, then you're going to have communication, some communication facilities built in, mics, cameras, things like that. If you're dealing with going home and working on your home laptop, then it even becomes more than getting yourself a headset or a camera to be able to talk to people. There's protection of your machine itself or your, your business from your machine itself because often, very often, home computers are not looked after as well or to the same extent that your business computer is and you know, get ensure that you're getting quality antivirus malware prevention software things like that to make sure that uh that your home machine is going to protect your business as well the last thing you need is putting your business at risk by having your home machine being at risk because it hasn't been attended to quite as well tony did you have a question there Oh, it just looked like you had your hand up, but I do. Um, so, yeah, so um, as you said, so it's protecting both yourself and your business because if you're already in isolation at home, then your business, then then your computer goes down, you can't communicate with anyone. 
Absolutely, yeah. So, you know, make sure, uh, get the right tools, get the right advice, use the right tools to scan your machines and keep yourself protected. Watch every single link that you go to click on. You know, a lot of people don't know, uh, it's getting around these days, but hold your mouse over the top of the link and have a look where it goes before you click on it. And if it even looks the slightest bit suspect, simple, don't do it. You can receive an email from somewhere that looks like it's legit. Don't open it unless you know. If you're not sure, give someone a call and say, hey, did you send me this? But don't click on links. That's it. A lot of these, a lot of these things quite often look like they're from the company, oh, yeah. but what they'll do is they'll have the company name dot something that sounds mm -hmm. legitimate and that will actually be a subdomain of their thing and all of a sudden uh, viruses can happen. From what I've been told, I haven't actually fallen prey to that just yet. One of the oh. few things I haven't fallen prey to. Well, let me tell you though that um, it's 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 not as easy as it sounds. I mean, you know, when people look at these things, don't don't feel bad that you think I don't know because you know what? Even someone like me who's been doing this for years and years and seen a lot, I I look at them and I've got to go, oh gosh, is this real? All the time, you know. I've got to really, even I've got to really look deeply <coughs> at it to determine whether or not something's legitimate sometimes. We've actually, uh, on, a, on a few occasions, deleted our own power bill and gone, ah, delete that, oops. <laughs> Get a reminder a bit later and we go, oops, we deleted our own power bill. Hey, the <laughs> lights go out, you know, <laughs> tiny. But yeah, honestly, people don't, people don't, um, people will send you another invoice or they'll call you with a reminder if you haven't yeah. paid something, so. <laughs> yeah, and just to confirm that, I mean, I know of a very high, um, ranking person in the Brisbane Angels organization that unfortunately clicked on a link and um, it was the wrong link to click. So it happens to even, you know, very successful, very intelligent, very <laughs> entrepreneurial, innovative um, people. So Absolutely. Yeah, be very cautious. Mm. And the funny thing is the more, the more comfortable you get with it, the bigger a risk it can be mm. because you can get, you can relax very, very easily. That's it, I'm um, just going to stop reading my emails. Um, <laughs> well, there's always time. that because you know what? If you don't answer your email, someone will probably call you and that's even better. I, I've got to agree with Tony there again where, I mean, I would much rather be meeting with people face to face. There's no doubt whatsoever. But if I can't, then, hey, video is great. <laughs> um, another thing for your home computer, if you're walking back in there, even though you feel like sometimes it might be just you using it, do the whole wipe it down, wipe it down with some disinfectant wipes or some spray on a, on a nice soft cloth. Won't do any harm to your screen as long as you don't use something that's caustic. Wipe down your screen, your keyboard, your mouse, everything. Um, just do it. Just like you wash your hands, wipe your equipment off as well. Now, I'm forgetting when we've had all of these discussions now because we did have a fair talk before we got on. You said there's even been a run on things like headsets and cameras and all that sort of stuff. Oh, absolutely. There's, um, there's, you know, we're starting to see already shortages of stock in um, cameras, headsets, laptops, big one. Uh, people want a laptop now to work from home because they use a desktop at work and now they've got to go home. And we're seeing massive stock shortages around already. Um, quite getting really quite hard to get stuff, particularly nice, inexpensive stuff. Um, Another thing, though, that's really important uh, if, if sitting at home, I mean, when you're at work and you're working, you tend to have a look around and talk to people and things like that. And when you're sitting at home by yourself, you can often not do that. Remember the old screen time break. Get up, have a wander around, go grab a cuppa or a glass of water and uh, do those sorts of things as well. So don't sit in front of your computer by yourself. Uh, that can actually be quite bad for you as well. Is it that time already? And and don't take your dog for a three-hour walk. That's really not what you should be doing during business hours. Um, so it's up to you and how you want to set up your business. So we'll be very non-judgmental about that. Um, so really great advice, Amber. So if people are looking for either equipment or some advice on IT, you can help them out? Sure can. Yeah, look, uh, you know, talk to your current IP, IT people about getting the right gear in place or give us a call. If you want to talk about uh, getting on board with that for a six month office 365 trial get yourself up and going in the cloud or what any of those tools like <coughs> teams chat video collaboration onedrive any of those things can do to help your business right now and into the future then happy to have a chat fantastic um so that that covers off the it side of things you know 
really it is the same, but look for different opportunities on how you can be live and present, but online as opposed to in live networking events. Uh, I even hear uh, networking groups like BNI are taking everything online at the moment. So really important to look for how you can uh, communicate effectively in that style of environment so that you can keep as much of that human presence up as possible. But don't forget, it's still not impossible to go out and go to cafes and catch up with people. Please let's not forget the cafe owners in the group. Let's make sure we are still supporting them. 